With Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming up, let's talk about how great the original Ruby and Sapphire were compared to Red and Blue. The first generation of Pokemon games were so good. Now everything that came after that was garbage. <laughs> Gen 1's the best, am I right, guys? Nope, nope, nope. Stop right there. Don't get me wrong. First Gen was great, but Ruby and Sapphire were way better, and here's why. First, we'll compare the stories between the two generations. In the original Red and Blue, the entire point of the game is to fight against the gyms while also fighting against Team Rocket and your rival, who is Professor Oak's grandson. And after you get through all the story stuff, you go on to fight the Elite Four, and then after that the game just kind of stops. There's not a whole lot to do after that. In Ruby and Sapphire, you're either going up against Team Aqua or Team Magma, depending on your version of the game. Even though they mainly fill the same role, it's still a really nice touch that it switches depending on what version of the game you're playing. This time around you have two rivals. One is the son or daughter of the professor, opposite of whatever gender you picked, and the other is Wally, the kid that you meet along your adventure. Near the beginning of the game you meet this guy called Steven, and throughout the rest of your adventure he just kind of pops in and gives you little helpful tips or helps you out of certain situations. Eventually you find out that he is the Pokemon League champion and uses all metal types. In this game, your father, Norman, is also a gym leader, meaning you're eventually going to have to challenge him in order to win his gym badge, but the first time you go talk to him is whenever you're introduced to Wally, who will become your new rival. Ruby and Sapphire added a bunch of new features and a lot of cool little gameplay elements that really spiced up the game, such as Pokemon abilities, weather effects in combat, double battles, new bikes, secret bases, contests, underwater parts, and last but certainly not least, the Trick Master. The art and the music in Ruby and Sapphire are still some of the best I've ever seen or heard in any game. Just looking at the difference in the sprites between the main characters of the first gen games and Ruby and Sapphire is incredible. I've yet to hear a Pokemon game top the music found in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Seriously, listen to this. The buildings in Ruby and Sapphire also had this really cool 2.5D texture, where they weren't exactly 3D yet, but they also weren't just plain flat 2D like they were in the original games. Speaking of buildings, in Ruby and Sapphire most of the buildings actually served a purpose, whether it's to the story, or just being interesting, or whatever. Whereas in Red and Blue, you would go somewhere interesting and it was basically a glorified cave just to catch a legendary Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, I like legendary Pokemon, I just want the buildings to be interesting, not just redesigned caves. I want them to have some kind of importance. Compared to Red and Blue, Ruby and Sapphire cities were so much better designed. In Red and Blue, every city just felt like a giant gray box that you just kind of had to go through because you knew you had to. But in Red and Blue, each city has its own little unique touches that make it nice. I mean, there's one city based entirely out of tree houses. How cool is that? The legendary Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire were also way cooler than the ones in Red and Blue. I mean, come on, compare Groudon, who's a giant rock, fire, dinosaur thing, to Mewtwo, who's just some psychic whatever thing. I think we know who wins. Overall, I just think that Ruby and Sapphire took everything Red and Blue did and did it ten times better, ten times more interesting, and looked ten times better while doing it. Don't get me wrong, I liked Red and Blue a lot. I played through them countless times as a kid, and I played through them countless times now. I just think that Ruby and Sapphire did everything they wanted to do, but better. Ruby and Sapphire had a great story, it had great gameplay, it had interesting characters and Pokemon and unique locations to visit, so I find myself playing it over and over again. But Red and Blue, I really only play for nostalgia. There's nothing really drawing me back in. That pretty much sums up my opinion on the third generation of Pokemon and why I enjoy it so much. If you disagree with me, I'm sorry. I'm not Canadian, but I'll apologize anyway.